Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey Miss Hilda. So today I'm gonna be reacting to this might be the worst man in Love is Blind history. Love is Blind season 6 episodes 1 to 6 recap by Bachelor Fantake. Um. <laughs> okay, I watch. So I'm not on social media much or at all really i'm not on instagram i'm not on tiktok or the the major ones anyway youtube is kind of like where i go for content popular content that's circulating or really not really i i'm here usually like watching hair videos and music videos sometimes but then every now and then like things from pop culture is like um makes its way to my feed and so i take these things in love is blind obviously i know about it from you know when we were in lockdown the first season as far as i'm concerned is the only season that ever existed <laughs> because that's the only one that i ever watch and i stayed to watch for lauren and cameron literally those two just for them okay everybody else i don't know i don't care but the point is this show i feel like just needed a season one <laughs> to tell you that love is actually not blind okay you, there are some things that you just don't need to keep repeating over and over to to prove what exactly i don't know okay but anyway we're gonna watch this new season i've heard from from friends that it's actually been uh a crazy well i don't know maybe it's it's been the craziest one what do you guys think anyway i'm i'm talking and rambling a lot so let's just go ahead and get into this video all right let's watch another season of love is blind is here and we need to talk about this man the worst man in the canon of, of the love is the blind cinematic universe i have questions written down and they're numbered 1 through 15 give me 10 what is something you think you excel at in relationships? What about you? You know, I was just gonna ask the questions. I wasn't really anticipating getting the same one back. Excuse oh my god. Yep, what? just dude talking to the wall. And when I tell you by the end of episode one, this man had my jaw on the floor, I kid you not. But yes, we are back with a brand new season and a brand new set of pod daters where, after season five, the bar is in the floor. These people could just sit there and exceed my expectations. However, when that first episode started and the preview came out with this clip, you f her. I know you f her. I was suddenly like, well, gentlemen, you had my curiosity. And now you have my attention. <laughs> and this week we saw the first six episodes of season six drop, ones that will take us from the first dates all the way up to the honeymoon phase of the experiment in the Dominican Republic. And this time pulling from the dating pool of Charlotte, North Carolina. But what I really want to know is where the heck in Charlotte they pulled this man from? Like I've watched a lot of reality TV and this man might just take the cake. Not just because of the robotic list of questions he has for people to answer. You pick the number and then you get a corresponding question. Number four, please. This one's been requested a couple times. We try to be something different. But also the way he navigates That's... everything. What is Matthew this? here is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Like, how on earth <laughs> are you supposed to respond to a man when he says stuff like, How's everything going today? Uh, I don't know. Well, you know, we'll keep that close to the vest. I'm floored. She simply asked how his day was and he responded, I bet you'd like to know, eh? But also, half the time <laughs> this guy just gets up and leaves in the middle of a conversation when he's not feeling it. 100%. Um, you're gonna be judged is always a little bit, you know, scary. Well, everyday life people what judge too, hell? you know? Are they even allowed to do art? Are you there? They are. <laughs> he just walked out. Now Matthew is just <laughs> insane. He barely talks to the people he's in the pods with, and the same goes for the people living with him. He does not interact with them at all. Matthew, your book is here, sir. You're welcome. And I know what you might be thinking about Matthew up until this point, but just hold on a bit. Now there is one woman who does give him a chance. 
This is A.D., the first woman to actually mm, stop I've and listen and get Matthew to open up. And it's amazing because when she does so, Matthew starts talking about coming from a small town where the attitude was displaying your emotions was a sign of weakness, how he's gone to therapy and at first could only give his therapist one-word answers, how he's always been horrible at dating, but then he says... I just was trying to, like, think of how to tell you that, like, you make me nervous but comfortable at the same time. Oh my gosh, I think he's just found the perfect way to say it. What I'm saying to you, I'm not saying to anybody else. And you start to think, if this guy's so bad with words, he must really be genuine with that. What is my greatest accomplishment? Finding you. <laughs> So, I fell. <laughs> I'm I fell for these I'm two. Sorry. I was thinking maybe this could be like a Zack and Bliss. A sort of oddball pairing that maybe isn't my people, but, you know, this could be for real. Not to mention, the other man AD has been dating is Clay. And after AD expresses that she's dated a lot of players, this man then goes and says, Love is blind, like, I get it, trust me. I just want to have that reveal door and, like, you know, be super turned on by my wife, you know? I just have to be attracted to you. I kind of lean towards more like petite. My, my favorite attribute is like lips. Like I was saying, but love is not inside blind, but regardless of the emotional connection. Regardless of the emotional yeah. connection, you know? So to have that, followed by Matthew finding his words, opening up, showing potential for both growth and a genuine love for AD, proclaiming that he wants to ask her dad for permission to marry her, and if he can't, they will just leave together? I mean, I was rooting for them. Them, and every time this odd relationship popped up on my screen, I was like, I love it. I could just f feel you being protective of me. And over the course of time, I'm just becoming very protective of you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but then disaster. In comes Amber. Now up until this point, most of the women on the show hadn't name dropped who they were dating. In other words, whenever someone asked that, they were like, I don't know, we'll, you know, we'll keep that close to the vest. But as things get near the end, Amber comes in to talk about the amazing date she just had and who she had it with. I had a good date. Who'd you have? No. Yup, and apparently Matthew told her all the same things he told AD, that including how he wants her dad's permission and Man, if he can't, sick. they will just leave together. I was shook, gagged, and gooped. My jaw was agape, kidding? actually. This man had been playing both of these women. And I also want to say bravo to the editors here because they really played me. They really had me going along. I felt like I was deceived just like AD. Oh, but That's this does get TV worse, do. because okay. Matthew begins to They're really start spinning things. And what was notch. really wild for me to see was, suddenly Matthew got very direct and clear with his words. Something that was scarily not the way he acted before. Some of the things I said to you were much more deep than what I said to her. You watch the show. Mm -hmm. You think me proposing is like the most romantic thing ever. The moment would be one of the greatest moments of, of your life. I wanted to leave with you yesterday. Do you think I said that to her? I'm also scared that you're having connections with other people too. Thankfully, AD sees through it, and AD and Amber get together to say, What the actual f is wrong with men? So AD is then left with Clay, <laughs> who apologizes for the shallow stuff, and he really does open up his emotions, which is incredibly hard for him to do. These two then get engaged, while Matthew is left to spew wildly manipulative stuff. You know, America, they do love a good underdog and they do love comebacks. I think I now got the entire country of America on my side. America's gonna be watching. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Matthew. Okay, bro. Yikes. But now that I've gotten the Matthew out of my system, there are still four more engaged couples to come out of the pods. Two of which are home run slam dunks who essentially don't date or care for anyone else but each other the whole time. There's Amy and Johnny and Kenneth and Brittany. Both just solidly connect and don't really dip their feet into other waters. Like, Kenneth and Brittany are both educators and they both love God, which, you know, slay but yeah. the other two couples that move on from the pods to Dominican Republic have to go through a bit of a journey. The first is with Jeremy and his two dates, Sarah Ann and Laura. Now, Jeremy is a catch. I almost wore a Hawaiian shirt in here today. Okay, what's the Hawaiian shirts <laughs> for? Uh, I just f with Hawaiian shirts. 
that. <laughs> First, cool. But I could have told you who he was gonna pick of these two after just a couple of dates when Sarah Ann says... With abortion, if two people lay down and consensually have sex, like, I think that, you know, you should take responsibility for your actions. I don't think it's a, used as a form of birth control. And Jeremy responds... Me being a man, yes. I shouldn't have an opinion on what a woman does with her body. So yeah, he picks Laura. But then there's Jimmy, the Hank Hill of Love is Blind. Now Jimmy finds himself connected with Chelsea here, and also... Who do I got? Your wife? No, I'm just kidding. Oh my, or maybe. Oh my, um, my name's Jessica. Jessica. She knows it, that. so she just... Ooh, <laughs> that's... That oh, still haunts yeah, me. I remember now, Chelsea her. wants a man who's going to focus on her and not the football game on behind her. I'm so used to going on a date with a guy and there being a TV behind me. And he's just watching the football game. Like, come on, baby. Come on. So naturally, she falls in love with Jimmy when he says, I've decided I want to go to every NFL, NBA, and MLB stadium. Love it. And she knows it. So she just As for Jessica, <laughs> her love for Jimmy comes down to one simple thing. Did your vagina pulse? Maybe. <laughs> but I don't know, Jimmy and Jessica together just give me that pooky couple from TikTok vibe. Like, Friday night out for them would be... Outfit of the night, it's date night. And pooky is looking particularly amazing tonight. I would call this dress a happy dress. <laughs> Babe, oh my god, okay. However, both of these women have things they've kept from Jimmy, at least for the first few dates. And when Jessica says, I have a 10 year old daughter, Jimmy's like, ah! Then when Chelsea says, I got married, Jimmy's also like, ah! And Chelsea feels this. She starts to sense Jimmy pulling away because, in Jimmy's mind, OMG, he got that Jessica mom and Chelsea divorce news all in one day? Yeah, I, I just have had a lot dumped on me today. <laughs> I am so sorry. So, on their next date, she reels him back in with some light questions like... Describe your perfect day to me. I'm on vacation. Full 10 hours on the beach. Mm -hmm. We go straight to... Um, Try a new restaurant because it's somewhere tropical that I have been. And yeah, some fish and some red wine. Which had me like... What kind of monster orders red with fish? And then she subtly puts out that people tell her she looks like a certain celebrity. Is MGK's wife or her, his girlfriend? Megan Fox? <laughs> Are you saying you look like Megan Fox? Oh no. This is a disaster, yeah. because, and I want to say there is absolutely oh. nothing wrong with this woman, but she does not look like Megan Fox. So even if he were to see her and be super into her, he's going to be surprised when she's not Megan Fox. Anyway, Chelsea's also vibing with a guy named Trevor, who I personally think is a better match for her because they've got good banter together. My name is Chelsea. My dog's name is Chelsea. No way. And what is your name? My name is Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. My dog's name's Trevor too. <laughs> Ultimately though, Jimmy dumps Jessica and gets absolutely chewed out she will never be me and she'll never be a woman like me when you see and realize what you missed out on you are going to choke <laughs> what a bitch then Chelsea dumps Trevor and these two get to have their reveal moment which doesn't start off great I've never been more sure that just that Jessica <laughs> I've never been more sure that Chelsea- And doesn't end great either. Damn. I actually like thought that you were lying to me for a little bit. Cause I, I got in my head about- You're surprised I'm not tattooed from- Not that, but like other things. Oh my god. You don't I look like who you said you look like, man. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Maybe if you say it again, you'll actually believe it. <laughs> you told me a thousand things. We sort of like hit on looks, but mm -hmm. <laughs> she definitely she definitely lied to me on on some uh, how she looks. Chelsea told me she looks like Megan Fox. Oh, I knew it. Oh, and you know That's this is going to be a disaster yeah. when they do that thing That's where they get the whole cast it. together. Like a few days after they get back home, they're going to waltz Jess in there and, boy.
Well, from this, Chelsea carries a lot of insecurity into the honeymoon phase, which Jimmy just continues to make worse. First, by constantly saying stuff like, I'm good. I'm, I'm phenomenal. Not that looks matter, but... <laughs> then, by talking about his ex, Jess. Like, she told me that I'll, like, be holding my breath when I see what she looks like, you know? It's like... I just thought that was a little weird to say. Okay, bro, are you trying to get her to confirm if Jess was hot or not? All the while, Chelsea is constantly seeking validation. Like, desperately. What's the first thing you notice about me? That you had pretty teeth. Mm -hmm. Like... Ideal teeth. Some people think it's a disc, but you have like so big square white teeth. Oh, oh God. Jimmy, no. Then finally, it's time for the group to all oh get together to see each other in person for the first time, and of course, get wildly drunk and spill the tea on which man is packing. Big hands, big feet. Work. Did you see it? I did feel his wiener. Um, <laughs> is it big? Huge. <gasps> But, once again, Chelsea's emotions plummet as Jimmy takes in AD and says... That woman, does, that woman. is absolutely stacked. But AD? So, of course, Chelsea just shuts down. And when they get back to their hotel room, it's another round of... You said hurtful comments? You made me feel uncomfy? You're treating me unfair. Um, Actually. I'm insecure. So Love you too. Are you sure? And the mess is only just beginning. Like, some couples seem pretty solid so far. Jeremy and Laura have a weird thing about bean dip. Bean really? dip is like this titty snack. <laughs> Literally hit, hit. She told me to do that and I'm like, what is she wrong She told you to do that to yeah. who? You. Well, the Jeremy's show. in the wrong for even bringing it up because it was a literal drug. It's giving children, it's giving small child vibes. But if the preview for the next set of episodes is any indication. In reality, you were my number one still. <laughs> I do love you. Oh, I know. <laughs> the only thing that could make this even messier is the sudden reappearance of the one and only Matthew. Oh, so he America's got nobody. <laughs> he okay, didn't Matthew. get anyone. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna go get Amber. Someone tell Amber to start running. So that's it for this recap of Love is Blind Season 6, Episodes 1 through 6. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel for more content. This was actually pretty wild, okay? Like I said, the first season is all I've seen of this this show, really. Um, I'm not really that big into reality TV shows, especially the dating kinds. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't care for them too much. But this is actually really wild. And like I said in the beginning, at what point do they say that love is in fact not actually blind and stop this farce that this is <laughs> it's so stupid to me yes some people do go ahead and find love yes it works out for them but at the end of the day let's let's just be realistic okay looks do matter to a lot of people when it comes to dating it does it takes it takes uh what is it personality takes a second seat well, the second seat <laughs> I know how to speak English <laughs> takes a back seat to looks okay so I don't know why this show is still a thing I don't understand it but okay okay I also didn't like how they were talking about the black woman specifically in this one um, it just reinforces certain stereotypes about black women especially dark-skinned black women being disrespected and you know not taken seriously especially these shows which is why again i don't like watching shows like this especially when they feature black women and unambiguous looking um black women especially the dark-skinned ones because the disrespect okay the disrespect is on another level and these are shows that are not created for them with them in mind and it's not for them they're they're there solely for entertainment purposes so yeah 
anyway y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section okay <laughs> let me know um i'll try to see if i can find the the other recaps if i want to go through this again but yeah if anybody also knows oh uh, never mind but yeah let me know your thoughts let me know what you thought of this season in general um and how it played out i'm pretty sure like the it's already ended um yeah this was like a month ago so i'm pretty sure it's it's ended by now but yeah this this was crazy <laughs> I, the dating game out there is already tough as it is but this is just wild anyway I'll catch y'all in the next one, but until then, always remember, self-love, you are so, so worth it. Alright? Peace. Bye.